Okay, so this is the first line of argumentation. These will be passages that say to believe the gospel to be saved. And this gospel, the gospel of Christ, it goes by various terms in the Bible. So we shouldn't be confused when we see these terms, the gospel of Christ, the gospel of God. All right, so this is the major problem I had uh, early on with his argument is that he's trying to say... <laughs> It's trying to say that um, every single one of these terms, at least when he points them out, always means the DBR. That's all it means. And that means nothing else. Okay. Gospel of Christ. Whenever you see, like, so the yellow ones are technical terms. They they literally always mean the, the gospel, uh, the DBR, all the yellow ones. And the ones that are um, not in yellow are... They they mean they mean the DBR in the places where he refers to them, but in other places they might they might not. Okay, that's what he's trying to say here. So let's just foolish this though, because like look at where he says my gospel. When Paul says my gospel a few times, like he calls like he refers to it as my gospel, and it's not. I mean, maybe maybe one of them or something. He, he he's talking about the DBR, but not all of them. For sure. My gospel, our gospel, they all reference the exact same thing. And that's um, that's a point of confusion for at least Mike. When he sees these terms, he thinks they reference a different or some obscure undefined message. And to prove this, I made a little graphic here. The color coded, uh, yeah, the color coded part of this shows that the letters to the Corinthians or the Thessalonians or the Romans, and you can see that in the letters to the Romans, it uses four out of these six terms, uh, seven terms technically. And in the letter of the uh, Corinthians, it uses five out of the six terms, the groups of terms. In the letters to the Thessalonians, it also uses five out of the six. So you can see that this, these writings use the same term, um, multiple of these terms to reference the same message. I'll give you an example here if I'll exit out of this and go to Eastward. So if we go to Romans 15, we can see that Romans 15 uses the term the gospel of God, ministering the gospel of God, preaching the gospel of Christ, preaching the gospel of Christ, so the gospel of God is used in a synonymous context as the gospel of Christ. And so I don't know. He's saying, okay, in Romans 15, these phrases appear, right? So he's saying that they're all synonymous because they appear there. I mean, I, we're, we're definitely not going to get to this whole video tonight. All right, guys, because I, I got to break this stuff down. So I got to actually see what he's talking about here. Uh, who, who are you, Starbucks Bible study? I mean, I might let you in if you, if you aren't some weirdo. Who are you exactly? Romans 15. Okay, so. Um, so let me just search this thing. This is going to be your worst nightmare. So who are you? Like uh, Josh? Are you Josh? Um. So, okay, I'm just trying to find, I'm just trying to find all the worst ones in, um, all the ones in 15. Okay, so, all right. So, starting in Romans 15, 16, that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ. Wait, let me see this. 15, 16, 15, 19, 15, 20, and 15, 29. Gospel of Christ, gospel of gospel of God, gospel of Christ, gospel, and gospel of Christ. Okay, so let's read it. That I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Um I should be the minister of Jesus Christ the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore, whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ in those things which pertain to God. For I will not dare speak of any of those things which Christ hath not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Though through mighty signs and wonders, by the Spirit of by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Yea, so, I, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I should build up upon another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, 
they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. For which cause also I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now having no more place in these parts and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, wheresoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come unto you. He's talking about the journey to Spain. But please them of the Macedonian, I can make a contribute. That will please them verily, their dead as they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. So when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. So look, look at this, look at this. I mean, I don't know, like all those, I don't think any of those can be limited to just the DBR in any of those cases, okay? He's talking about his, his whole doctrine, good news, that he's telling people, he's preaching to people so that they'll be saved. And when he says this, I, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ, why would we think that this is just referring to the DBR? Why? It's just ridiculous, man. It's just he's just saying that because they're in the same set, they're in the same chapter. He's trying to say that they're all exactly the same. They're exactly referring to the DBR and nothing else. No other thing is included. Only the DBR, exclusively the DBR. Why would I think that? Does that make any sense? Why? Why would I think that? Why, man? His only evidence for this is that they, they appear in the same chapter. He's like, look, they're all in the same chapter, so they're they're in a synonymous context. That's what he's trying to say. Did you hear what he said? Anyway, let, let, me, let me go back to this video. Wow, dude. And just a few verses later in chapter 16, it says, my gospel. So even in Romans, uses the term the gospel of God, ministering the gospel of God, preaching the gospel of Christ, preaching the gospel of Christ. So the gospel of God is used in a synonymous context as the gospel of Christ. See what he's saying? Just because they appear in the, in the, in the same thing, they're synonymous, which may be true, at least, at least for a few of them, right, in chapter 15. But then he goes on to, but then he's, he's claiming that this is not only are they all synonymous, but they are only the DBR and nothing else. They are only the DBR. That, that's all he's talking about when he says that phrase, gospel of Christ, including in 1529, where it's almost surely not only the DBR. It's clearly not. And just a few verses later in chapter 16, it says my gospel. So even in Romans, the last two chapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes to chapter 16, my gospel. Like, that's that's clearly not what he's saying. He's not trying to say that's the DBR. Look, look, look at this one. Look at this one. Um, okay. So now to him that is a power to establish you according to my gospel... And the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which is kept secret since the world began. Now, look, Jesus, Paul is talking to the Roman church, right? Now, to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. When he says this, and you can disagree or whatever, but I'm just telling you, this is what, based on reading this sentence, that's what this means, okay? To him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. According to my gospel... Is referring to this. Him, God, is of power to establish you. Okay? And that is a true thing according to Paul's gospel. That's what he's saying there. Okay? And he says this because, and the preaching of Jesus Christ. The preaching of Jesus Christ is clearly the DBR, or at least it centers on the DBR, right? The preaching of Jesus Christ obviously centers on the dbr so why would he say oh, this according to my gospel and the preaching of jesus christ because they're not the same thing he's trying to say my gospel and the preaching of jesus christ they're like he's just trying to i mean that could be kind of like a parallelism too that's true too let me see according to my gospel and the preaching of jesus christ according to the revelation of the mystery which is kept secret since the world began now, to him that is the power to uh, the power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ. 
according to my gospel and a preaching and the preaching of Jesus Christ. So according to Paul's gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, those according to those two things, God is of power to establish you. That's what that's what that means. It doesn't mean DBR. This thing doesn't refer to the DBR. That's just that's just foolishness, man. This is foolish nonsense. Okay. 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 I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 Studying the Bible with Mike Sam Pat. These other YouTubers are just so trash. Hit the thumbs up if you want to support. Go follow Mike as he follows the Lord. I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 You better watch out, Mike's calling out the shields. If you're not free grace, you need to sit down and chill. We're not hyper grace, you know we keep it real. Eternally secure, you know that we're sealed. We don't back low, we're not workspace heretics. Mike's not in it for the money, trying to get a lick. They out here selling their souls for a couple clicks. They're coming Freemason so they can't just get rich. I'm studying the Bible in Toronto. 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 Shout out to Mike Sam Pat. Check out his channel, Toronto Bible Study. Subscribe and like.